So it's not someone saying this is what you work by the hour or here's how much work you do. You get to decide how much. I mean, residual, think about that. You go to work, he pays you that amount, then you got to do it again next week and he pays you that amount and you do it next week. You can't say, well, I've worked five weeks really hard for you, I'm going to quit now, just keep paying me. You know, he would laugh. Well, in this business, you literally can do that. You can get some good people going. I mean, there's quite a few in this room right now that could say, I'm done for right now. And uh, now we're not to a place as a company where, you know, they could say, I'm done for life. You know, these guys are all pretty young men over here. So, but they could, you know, they could probably in the next two, three, five years, ten years or something, keep getting money in each month and never do anything with it works again. And as long as they keep their spot qualified, which is an $80 auto ship, that check will keep coming. We got some people like that right now. There, there's a lady um, down in Florida that gets about four grand every month. Uh, she built this hard and hasn't done anything for two or three years. Now, I wish you'd do more because we're at that part in our company where she could drive this. If she drove it that quick to four grand, she could drive it to 10 grand, 20 grand, or whatever, and be so much more. But that's what she was happy with. So there will be some people that that's their, that's their dream. I'm not, I keep chiming in, guys. If you got, you know, I don't, I don't want to hog. I got a list of questions. I can talk to them all night. But um, with those people that kind of build those paper houses we just talked about, because I hear about this a lot, that mm -hmm. um, that month comes or whatever, and, and they don't qualify for diamond, or they don't qualify for emerald, or they don't qual. There, is there like a month-to-month -month thing where you have you have to have a certain volume in your group to qualify for the level you got to? Yep. Once, once you have a position, you always have that title. Encoding money. Uh, once something's qualified to you, that's always there. That's not going to change. But like your generationals. Now, once you're a diamond, it, you can qualify two ways. First time getting there, you need your five legs, you need a ruby in one, you need exo uh, emerald in the other, ruby and emerald. So now you've gone to diamond. The next month, you can do that again, or you can do it with volume. And most people qualify with their volume now. Yes, sir. And why isn't the straight volume model? Why do we have to build specifically the first time to qualify? Uh, it does a couple of things. It gives you stability with your legs. It gives who's working with you. It, if there was no guts to a position, then you wouldn't have anything in your generational. There wouldn't be any money in that, and there wouldn't be enough for coding. Mm -hmm. So there has to, the, the way our consultants describe it to me is this. Uh, you know, sometimes you'll look at a comp plan and you'll think it's so complicated that you got to have a degree in it. There's some companies I go online. I'm a math major. And there's some companies I go online and I have a hard time understanding their comp plan. Uh, and I said to the guy, I want to keep. I want ours to be simple. And he said, Well, they're simple like uh, the way you used to wash your clothes generations ago was you took it down the river and you had a rock or you had a washboard and you scrubbed. Now that was simple. Today is simple in the fact that you put it in the washing machine, you push a button. Now the washing machine is complex, but you don't have to know how that works. You got to know how to push the button, and, and and that thing works. That's what we had to do here. Is it has to be complex enough here to get to your positions? You know, they know when we set this. And I couldn't tell you right now. I, I had that memorized. I knew like how many people it took to get to diamond. 24. And there's a diamond. What is it? Twenty-four. Twenty-four is a diamond sheet that you can see that on. You know, let's say at the minimum is twenty-four. Then we know for you to go diamond, you've left at least twenty-four people in your diamond code of the person above you and they have that to work with. You also have started five legs that have potential for each one to do a generational. So you have over 20 generationals that can be formed that you've left for the upline. Now you say to yourself, well I don't care about my upline, I'm getting there. You're going to be the upline pretty soon. So what it's doing is maximizing as you get to these spots, you know it's like, um, probably a bad example, but millionaires. You know when I, when I was 20 or something, you know, how many millionaires there were in the whole United States? Weren't very many. And then, you know, 10 years ago there were more, but not, the, you know, now there's a lot. And the money's not worth as much as what it was. You know, they'll say a millionaire back then isn't worth what a millionaire today is. I mean, it's not the same. So, again, we could say of something where everybody could go diamond tomorrow, but then you got nothing to work with. It's just, it's an empty shell there. So it's complex enough here in the qualifications to get you there that you're guaranteed as you're a diamond and you're developing that you're going to have people to work with and you can build the kind of incomes that people are building this from. That's a great question. And that would go along with Rusty saying, 
build it right, build it tight. If you build it right, build it tight, mm -hmm. you don't have to worry about qualifying for Emerald the volume wise because you've, right. you've got your volumes there. You've got a great and, first and level. Everybody you train, everybody example. they've got a great first level. You know, some people and I watched them do this. Um, people would try to buy their way. They'd say, "Hey, if I get to double diamond, I'm making 120 in coding. 100, that's 220 a person. I'll buy my way there and then start building." Whereas the people like Rusty that has a strong first code, unit level, and they've got a strong diamond code, and now they're over here building, you know, wherever they're building, triple, presidential, like you say, these are strong that their volumes keep their company going, or keep their volumes so that their um, qualifications are there, and their unit level money is strong. Where people that try to just buy their way over to here, these people aren't doing anything, and they're rebuilding always. You know, our goal here is to build it once, build it, you know, build it right, build a strong foundation. That's probably the two biggest complaints I get. People that have been around and done some other things is, and to rebuild. I kept having to rebuild every couple of years. I had to rebuild. Well, let's let's build it strong, and let's build it with people that. And that's what's happening in this area. I like. I mean, Dave uh, and Debbie. When did you start? You've been around two and a half, three years now. Two and a half, three years. You know, we. That's our strength is we have our same leadership. I go to these. Uh, industry things with the CEOs and there's companies, there's only 64 companies worldwide right now that are over 100 million uh, a year in revenue and many of them are telling me their top 10 is different every year. Well that's telling me that their income's strong. Are you going to leave? Are you going to leave if you're making whatever your goal of is, 20, 30, 40, 50,000 a, a month? Uh, you're not going to leave if that's there. You're going to leave if it's going like this and it's not strong. And some of these companies, their leadership leave every year. That's the strong part of us is we've had our same leadership or the basic of that the same for a long time, a long time. So that's exciting to me because it, it, it gives you stability. What else? Yes, sir. Go ahead, Bill. Is everyone in here already a part of the organization or do we have people that have not been in? Okay. Um, because some of the things that we've been talking about in the men's group is is building practices, building life, building depth, yep. and why you would do one as opposed to the other. Now, using the generational bonuses and the cab bonuses, once you go diamond and you have your snapshot, yep. is it safe to say that instead of building width and getting cab bonuses, so you're starting your next organization out here, mm -hmm. you can place underneath to your 22nd level in depth? Yep. Now, for cap bonuses, that that would not hurt you because you're still going to get, you know, whatever's enrolled to you, maximize and go. But here's what will happen uh, in the generational part. The generational, uh, and that's where we're seeing the only place, you know, I think Nathan and Cammie, they're about 50% generational, 50 unit level. You're getting coding money, but you guys are really strong generational. Um, Chris and Carla are really strong and their coding money. And I, I haven't looked, Dave, in a while to know, um, you know where, where you guys are heavy or not heavy. But what can happen, some people will get a runaway leg. You get, a, and a leg is a person. You've sponsored someone, you know, let's say that, just pick on someone here. Let's say I pick Larry back there. And, uh, you know, he's he got to Diamond right away, and he's got some people that have, that are real hungry and they got to dime and then he got an experienced person in the industry that just knew a bunch of people. Well, what happens is in the generational, in one leg, you get four generations. So it'll go diamond and everything in that diamond except to the next diamond. Then it gets another snapshot. So if you go too deep, even with the coding and someone takes off as a leader, let's say you had this going on and you really want to help someone here, so you put someone from your your next code in here. Yep, you're getting the, let's say you're double diamond, you're getting the 120 coming back up to you, but that person goes diamond, and you've already got one, two, three. That's your last one, and he produces a stud down here that becomes double diamond. You'll get your coding money, but you're out of unit level and you're out of generational. So you're not out of money, but you've minimized two big parts of the, the plan that you're not going to get now.